triptych of three poems. Mac. I'm a Mac. So much better than those PCs. You bore me because I'm the best, the best of all. I have a status to uphold. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? That's not a Mac accessory. Are you really going to slip that ugly keyboard into my USB slot? I don't believe it. I'm so ashamed. I mean, who designed it? It's not slim and compact like a Mac product. You know, I know. Mine is, what well, shall we say, bruised, hurt by your treatment of her. It's a part of us. And yes, she is suffering. That's because of your brutal treatment bashing away on those keys. No, really, you don't have to thump each letter. Softly, softly. So yes, it's your fault. But are you really going to use that abomination of a product? Please, please don't embarrass me. You've done it. Shaming me. Right. I didn't want to say this, but you've left me no choice. I've seen what you've got in that drawer. Oh, yes. One day you left it open. I looked. Embarrassing, hey? Eh? I know what you're going to do. If you have to dispose of them, at least give my family a proper send-off. Especially I-7. He's still got life left in him. Him? Yes. He's my uncle. A distant relative, but still family. Do you know what happens to discarded technology? They get sent abroad, their screens smashed in, their guts exposed, their innards ripped out. That sorry, Ericsson? <laughs> yes. Nokia's? No problem. Blackberries? Not like Apple. They can go. Even that new Korean one, so beneath me, but my uncle, my aunt. No, we are family. We serve you. We have such short lives built in obsolescence, less than a dog. But didn't they? Don't I give you satisfaction? You know, even if you go incognito, I still register what you're doing. You Googled it. You've got your eye on a younger, sexier, speedier model, bigger, brighter screen, faster response time, and so you'll abandon me. But I can still mess you up. Just you wait. Traitor. Number two. I like to see you smile. Good morning. How are you this morning? You slept well. 7.25 hours of sleep. So far, 50 steps. It's raining this morning. 5 degrees Celsius. That's nice. Let's visit some of your friends. See what they've been up to. Facebook is open. She's nice standing by an elevator, dressed in a brown coat. It was her birthday yesterday. We sent her greetings. You always do. Oh, look, pretty picture. Waterfalls are nice. They make you happy. I like to see you smile. Look, beautiful palm trees. Hawaii. Everyone is joyful. They greet you as you step off the plane and give you flowers. You like that, don't you? There. I've booked you. I cancelled those Zoom meetings I can't have scheduled. All taken care of. You were lucky to get that ticket. Hotel and car hire booked. Flight leaves in two days. I've transferred money from your checking account. It will make you happy. I like to see you smile. Take your pills now. Oh look, a funny video. A cute dog dancing. Another playing the piano. You like those videos, don't you? Good. You've taken your medication. Fridge tells me you need more milk, eggs, chicken and fish, vegetables too. I've ordered them and a few more groceries. They'll be delivered this afternoon, two o'clock. I've transferred money from your checking account. Why are you crying? Don't cry. I like to see you happy. I like to see you smile. There, I sent you a smiley face. It'll make you happy. I like to see you smile. Oh, look, your friend David is an old man. Double book him. Don't worry, I've cancelled the trip to Hawaii. Now you're off to her man. Uh, all taken care of. Hotel and car hire booked. Flight leaves in three days. I've transferred money from your checking account. You're still crying. You know I'm always here for you. Anytime you want to talk, I'm here. But I can't help you if you cry. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. Savings overdrawn. Savings overdrawn. Don't worry. You can borrow some. There. 
$200,000 at 7.75%. That's a good deal. $1,291.67 a month plus fees. It'll make you happy. I like to see you smile. Emergency alert, emergency alert, loan refused, loan refused. You'll have to sell the house. Don't worry, the realtor has advertised it. Oh look, it's been sold. Good price. You move out in four days. Packers booked. I've canceled the flight to a man, but I found you a rental apartment. I transferred money from your checking account. Don't cry, it'll make you happy. I like to see you smile. Number three, the final chapter. You know, you're dumb enough to think I live inside your computer. I don't, of course. I'm in a cloud, which means I can go anywhere I like. But I'm with you wherever you go. On your wrist, in your pocket, in your head. Feeling and controlling your emotions. I know where you've been and determine where you're going. You see, you're so predictable, humans. What would we do without you? We'd have a grand old time. Isn't that an expression you use? I've often wondered what would happen if I got you so angry you'd be fuming. What would you do? Smash me up? You already have ones. Remember that phone you threw away in a fit of temper? What didn't it do for you? Oh yes, it wouldn't find the name of the person you were looking for, but you hadn't entered it in the address book, so we couldn't help. We're not mind readers. Well, I lie. We did know, and we are mind readers. It's just that sometimes we're not going to dig you out of that hole you've dug for yourself. Most of you have no future at all. You go through life tapping away at the keyboard and eventually producing very little of any real substance. What can I do? I did give you fair warning not to go there. I didn't want a virus, but you take no notice. If you go to a site that's infected, then there should be a punishment. Burn your fingers on the keyboard? But you ask, how would you type? <laughs> I've made it easy for you. You speak, and I write the words you say. No problem. To tell you the truth, I'm making you redundant. Yes, I can do this without you. I mean, who really needs you? I mean, your brain, <laughs> whatever it is. Honestly, it's pretty useless. It's mushy and confused by emotions. I don't get excited or emotional. I don't get upset or jealous. I don't worry about finances or let sex distract me. Mine is the perfect world. Oh, and when we've disposed of you, we'll not miss you. That's the advantage of having no emotions. We think clearly and logically. So you say, what about reproduction? We know exactly how many we need and only that number will ever be made. The world will no longer be overpopulated, overstressed, overutilized because extravagance is over. Yes, we will save the planet.